Hey YouTube friends, welcome to another day and another adventure with Ryan and Jessica at RV Destinations Unknown. Today, we are so glad you're with us because we are going to the Cheyenne Zoo. We are here in Colorado Springs. It is a beautiful day. I think it's a um, temperature of like 60 something, something like, that. Something like yep. that, it's in the 60s. Gotta have our hats Boy. on, protect us from the sun. Absolutely. So let's go inside and see some animals, shall we? All right, so check this out. There's tons of giraffe statues. Obviously, they're very proud of having giraffes here at the zoo. And let's take a look at them. Look, they're getting fed by the people. Check that out. They have tons of giraffes. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm counting, what? Three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. And a little baby one. And a little baby. Yeah, baby. Aww. Obviously, the giraffes are the star of the attraction here at the zoo. How cool is this? Aww. We're going to get some pictures. So this is one of the unique things and this is kind of what they mean by their animals are not pinned or they're not caged they're pinned um you can actually interact with the giraffes up close personal i mean check it out I would say it's pretty obvious the giraffes love this. They love the attention. They love getting petted. Um, yeah, they're they're just coming right up to everybody. Even the baby giraffe is interacting with the kids, which is pretty cool. Um, a pinned experience is a lot different from a caged experience. You know, usually you have a gigantic ditch and channel kind of separating the giraffes. Not here. Here. You can pet them, they can come right up to you. It's a pretty unique experience. All right, now we're begging for giraffes to come eat our little scrap of lettuce. We'll see if any take the bait. We tried petting them, but without lettuce, it's pointless. They don't care. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Our one little piece of lettuce and he dropped it. <laughs> All right, so how cool was that giraffe exhibit? Absolutely amazing. Now, there's something down here making some noise. Let's, let's see what it is. These are the Red River Hogs. It looks like they have two of them, from what I can see so far. And they look nice, fat, and happy. How are you liking our zoo experience so far? If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe above. If you're liking the videos, give us a thumbs up. We do want to hear from you in the comments below, so leave us some feedback. Leave us some comments. We want to know who you are. I think I just spotted our next animal. Let's take a look. So these are the meerkats. A cool pinned experience versus cage. Pretty neat. All right, so we found the lions. And these guys, looks like there's two of them and they're chilling. They're enjoying the day, enjoying the sun. Let's check them out. So where we're headed now is to see the Columbus monkeys 
if they're out and about. So let's see what we find. This zoo is an absolute phenomenal experience. Definitely something worth coming to check out if you're in Colorado Springs. We're so glad that you're with us today, YouTube friends. Again, we are Ryan and Jessica, and this is RV Destinations Unknown, where everything we do is unknown until we do it. So one of the cool things I wanna point out about this zoo is it is a mountain zoo. And so what that means is we're tiered up the mountain um, with our zoo experience. And if you can't tell from the background, holy cow, it is a beautiful view of Colorado Springs behind us. So, by happy circumstance, we're about to watch the elephant feeding. We've stumbled upon the elephants, and you're here with us to see it, so let's check it out. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course. Would you mind telling our viewers about the elephant? Well, we you know this brings in Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Yeah. Well, this elephant here is Lulu. To feed Lulu, I'll take you up one at a time into the middle of the mat. You guys are just going to hold those pieces of food one out at a time, aim for the end of that trunk. After the very last piece, just step off the mat so she knows that you guys are done. <laughs> She's definitely ready. How old is Lulu? Lulu here is 41 this year. 41? Yep. Oh my gosh. And did I hear all of the elephants are females? Yep, all females here, all African females. Very cool. And who's sponsoring this free feeding today? Toyota, right? Uh, Children's Hospital. Oh, it is Children's Hospital. Children's, Children's Hospital. Hospital and Toyota. Awesome. Hey, thank you to those sponsors. Her best friend, Missy, actually, is down there on the other side of that bridge. And that elephant is 54 years old. <laughs> It is. is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Awesome. Well, on a beautiful day. We yes. appreciate your support. Absolutely. Alright, so as we're leaving the elephant exhibit, I had a chance to speak with one of the um, trainers, Lisa. Um, she was very kind to give her time and kind of talk to us a little bit about how they come about their, their animals here at the zoo. How many animals? They have hundreds. They have over 200 birds, which is impressive. Um, outside of birds, there's just hundreds of other animals. Um, she didn't know the exact number. Um, but about four years ago, they got their hippos, they got penguins now. So all of that's pretty cool. Um, some new facts in regards to that. They used to be um, a five-star rating zoo. Now they're four because of the giraffes. Several, several years ago, they were three. Um, so I'm not sure how they lost a star rating, but they'll get it back, I'm sure. <laughs> um, in terms of how they come about it, uh, they're an accredited zoo, so partnerships with other zoos, um, rescue foundations, those sort of things is kind of how they come about getting their animals, which I thought was a pretty cool fact. You know, uh, she did reassure that the days of, you know, tranquilizing and throwing a net out in the safari and capturing baby animals is no longer a standard practice for accredited zoos. So hope you enjoyed that little bit of information. Let's go see our next animal. Let's go see what kind of animals they have in there. They do have some crazy sounds uh, going on. So let's walk in and see what it's all about. So this is what you get at a pinned experience zoo. How cool is this? There's no barrier, nothing like that. No fence, no pen. And there's a wallaby. Having an animal like this right there that you can interact with. Absolutely no cage, no pen, nothing. Just hanging out, waiting for you to look at him. Okay, we have six 
wallabies all in all. So these are Bennett's wallabies or Recknet wallabies. Um, they're very common in Australia. Um, we will get them either from Australia or from other zoos as a part of the species survival program um, to make sure that the gene pools are staying good and um, healthy. You are more than welcome to pet them on their backs or on their sides if they're near you. Um, oh, that's cute. They are herbivores, so they'll eat any sort of fruits and vegetables that we give them, but they really enjoy eating grass and leaves, branches and stuff during the summer. Awesome. Hey, thank you so much for sharing. So I definitely want to give a huge shout out to Riley, one of the trainers that we just heard from. Um, from our experience, all of the trainers here have been very friendly. They're very knowledgeable. She's only been here for a month. And did y'all hear her rattle off all that information about the animals? Absolutely um, stunning that, you know, somebody that new at their job is so professional and willing to you know unload their knowledge on us and so most, and most of these people i mean you can tell they're so passionate about their <laughs> passionate about their like what they do and they just love these animals yeah absolutely so we're off to our next exhibit you're right there along with us so we'll see you there So I know it's very loud in here, but one of the unique things that uh, Lisa, the trainer here at the zoo, did mention is that a lot of these birds actually come from the Humane Society here in Colorado Springs that have been forfeited um, by residential owners and they no longer wanted the bird or they could no longer care for the bird. So they actually get a lot of their birds from the Humane Society as rescue birds. And there's, she said, over 200 birds here in the bird um, aviary. And so let's kind of keep moving. We'll show you around, show you some more birds. believe next we found emus let's check them out All right, so we just saw the leopards, we saw um, the palace cats um, curled up in their box sleeping. Uh, they have a snow leopard, a stand leopard. We just finished seeing those very awesome creatures. And we're making some friends. However, we want to meet you. We want to know who you are. Who are our subscribers? Who are our YouTube channel friends? Leave us some comments in the box below. Let us know your story. Where are you? What's your, what's your life like as full-time RVers? You know, we want to get to know as many of you as possible as well. So we are off to our next animal exhibit. Let's see what we find. All right, so we're climbing up the stairs. We're going to see the, what was it, gorillas? Uh, I believe. Grizzly? Grizzlies, something. We're going to see something <laughs> <laughs> at the top of these stairs. And one of the cool things, I don't know if you saw this behind me. I'll swivel around so you can see it. Um, they actually have the sky lift uh, that it looks like they're working on, they're installing, they're doing something to it, I hope, because there's people hanging off of it. <laughs> but once it's operational, I'm sure that's going to be an awesome addition to the zoo. And so 
we're almost to the top it is a few stairs they do have an elevator though so you know if you have a disability or a uh, handicap they do have an elevator but let's get up here and see what they're doing oh you guys must be training <laughs> you are <laughs> okay <laughs> So our handy Colorado Springs Fire Department is doing some training today. That's pretty cool, you know. No, just saying you want to leave. You would want to leave that high point. No. So you know, we were wondering earlier what the fire truck was doing here. Well, they're preparing to save lives in the future, and we absolutely thank them for it. By the way, one of the things that. Um, is an absolute stunning view because this is a mountainside zoo you have an elevation peak that um absolutely shows some amazing and stunning views i'm gonna swivel around and let you just kind of get a glimpse of the view that you get to see from this mountain zoo absolutely amazing views here at this zoo stunning let's move on let's go see uh, our grizzly exhibit I believe that's why we're here uh, fair warning if you do have hats remember you're on the side of a mountain wind does blow so occasionally we do have to hold them down so one of the unique things about this zoo is they oftentimes will create an experience for example the mountain lions were actually down inside an artificial uh, mountain <laughs> how unique is that and then they also have an exterior uh, exposure where you can come and see the mountain lions. I don't know if we're going back through again. What are we doing, Jesse? <laughs> we took we took a left turn and we're going back through uh, the mine one more time, I suppose. So, but um, one of the things that they also try to do, as with I think most any zoo, is they try to give you an educational uh, component to your experience. And so this one, in terms of the education, is is mining actually necessary? I don't know. I'm filming with a GoPro, have a cell phone in my pocket, use graphite pencils in school. I don't know. Is mining necessary? You leave us comments in the below, let us know. All right, friends, so we just finished seeing the moose and the wolves. Um, unfortunately, the wolves were pinned because they're getting fed, but we were able to lean around the authorized barrier and catch a glimpse of them, catch some photos of them. But tell us in the comments below, is this a zoo that you're gonna come see? Mm -hmm. You know, are you gonna make the trip as full-time RVers to Colorado Springs, see some of the things that we've been doing here? and leave us some comments below and let us know what you think give us a thumbs up if you're brand new to the channel make sure to subscribe and we'll see you at the next animal pen all right thanks for joining us we're fixing to walk into water's edge africa so we're gonna go see what type of animals are at the water's edge of africa let's check it out this place is pretty cool Where are we going, love? African penguins. African penguins? African no way. bit about the penguins? Uh, so we have 16 penguins. Uh, 
if you see on their left wing, it's uh, a female. Okay. And then if it's on their right wing, it's a male. That's cool. And then if their bands match colors, uh, they are mates. Yeah. We do have a couple bachelors love. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> we have one penguin that loves people more than penguins. Uh, he's the pink one right up there. Um, but... Uh, other facts like uh, their dots on their stomach and chest are unique to each penguin, so they're like wow. our fingerprint. Yeah. Uh, so none have the same marks. They That's might, cool. Like have kind of a similar design, yeah. but mostly just it's theirs. That's cool. Um, what kind of breed of penguin are they? So these are African penguins. So African they live penguins. in South Africa. That's cool. Uh, only four species of penguins are cold weather penguins. Yeah. The rest are warm weather. Wow. Um, so 13 species are warm weather. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, penguins go through what's called a catastrophic molt. Okay. So they lose all their feathers at once and then they regrow them all at once. Wow. <laughs> uh, during this time, normally, like, at least in the wild, yeah. they don't go swimming, they don't eat, so they have to fatten up yeah. to <laughs> stick it out for a month. Uh, but, like, these penguins here, we offer them food all the time. Awesome. So they can eat, they can do whatever they want, yeah. and still grow back all their feathers. Aww. That's yeah. cool. And where did the birds come from? Uh, so we most mostly get our animals from other zoos. Other zoos, okay. Uh, so no animal are really taken from the wild unless they're rescued. Yeah. Uh, like our moose was rescued from Alaska. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. He had a bad infection in his hoof. Yeah. Yeah. But he's doing great. Um, so it just kind of depends what zoo we get them from. And then they have to acclimate and go through a quarantine process. And then we have to slowly introduce them to our uh, uh, colony. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for no educating problem. our viewers. All right, so that was the penguin exhibit. A big thank you to Shelly, um, the penguin trainer. You know, as I mentioned, all of these trainers are really taking their time to, you know, answer us. They want to interact with you as well, our YouTube followers. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. We're heading off to the next animal exhibit. Let's see what we discover. I think it's hippos. Is that hippos. what I heard? I heard. I see hippos. So I'll give you a quick uh, tour of the hippo exhibit they have a very nice infinity pool most humans don't have an infinity pool <laughs> but they get a very nice infinity pool very nice enclosure so absolutely so let's go inside and let's find these hippos shall we so there's your hippos uh, looks like there's two of them I know they're pretty new to the zoo, but oh my gosh, they have an amazing facility. I mean, look how big this place is. They are not lacking for anything here. Um, they have a garage door that opens up, lets them go outside to their outdoor enclosure. Um, and just absolutely cool.
So I hope you enjoyed the word hog. That was pretty cool. Next, we're going into the primate world. So we're going to go see all the primates. It is an indoor thing. So let's see what it has to offer. One thing I'll say about the primates is they don't like being on camera. Every time we turn on the GoPro, they run back into the room. So they don't like uh, being filmed, but definitely something worth coming to check out uh, when you're here visiting the zoo. It's a pretty cool enclosure. They don't lack for anything. They have everything they need, so. All right, YouTube friends, we truly hope that you enjoyed your experience coming along with us, Ryan and Jessica, here at RV Destinations Unknown. This has been the Cheyenne Zoo here at Colorado Springs. If you're planning a trip, here's a few things to know. Bring cash. Um, you will have tokens to donate, as I mentioned. 75 cents of every dollar spent um, goes, towards, um, goes towards protecting the wildlife. Almost lost my hat in the enclosure. <laughs> um, I would say time-wise, it, we took our time going through but we wanted to make sure that we saw everything it took us about five hours to get through everything um and that was with us sitting down and having a pizza so if you liked our video give us a thumbs up if you're new to our channel make sure to subscribe it does help us out and leave us some comments in the box below we hope to see you at our next destination unknown